headlines. It's a story that shook the state and the nation. 11-year-old Jacob Waterling kidnapped at gunpoint while riding his bike home from a convenience store. Now more than three decades later, Jacob's mother is putting pen to paper to honor her son's life. Fox 9's Maury Glover spoke to Patty Wetterling about her new book titled Dear Jacob, A Mother's Journey of Hope. Maury tells us what she hopes people take from this book. Well, for years, Patty Wetterling searched for answers about her missing son. Now, she says telling her own story is a chance to make peace with what happened. I'm hoping it's a reflection of, of hope and persistence. After more than three decades as one of the most well-known people in Minnesota, Patty Wetterling is starting a new chapter in her life as an author. It's a little scary. <laughs> um, I feel good about it. I, you know, it's kind of a gift back. Thank you. Wetterling was the main speaker at the official launch of the new memoir she wrote with blogger Joy Baker called Dear Jacob, A Mother's Journey of Hope at the Minneapolis Central Library. She says it's a behind-the-scenes look at a crime that shaped the state and the hope, grief, and gratitude she's experienced since it happened. This is my reflection on um, the journey of trying to find Jacob, what gave me strength, what was um, difficult and... Um, how you keep going. It was October 22nd, 1989, when Wetterling's 11-year-old son Jacob was abducted by an armed man wearing a mask while riding his bike home with his younger brother and a friend near the Wetterling's home in St. Joseph. Jacob's disappearance wasn't solved until 2016 when Danny Heinrich admitted to abducting, sexually assaulting, and murdering him, ending a 27-year ordeal for the Wetterlings. It was devastatingly awful, something I hope nobody ever goes through, and it um, took me about two years, really, to get on my feet. Now, Wetterling says sharing her story is one way to say thank you to all the people who supported her family along the way. You know, we were carried by the entire state and region, and I wouldn't be alive and functioning without y'all, so thank you. Now, Sunday will mark the 34th anniversary of Jacob's disappearance, and Patty says she will spend it like she always does, having a quiet day with her family. In the newsroom, Maury Glover, Fox 9. Understandable, right? Mm -hmm. Our next